Hey everybody, it's Ad the Red. Welcome back to Shining Song Star Nov. Right then, last we left off. <sighs> of course, things have to get worse. Because why wouldn't that? <laughs> Not allowed to be happy. We're never allowed to be happy. Ha happiness has been outlawed. It's, it's illegal now. <laughs> right, let's go. Just a few days later, though, I received further dire news. <laughs> Christ alive! As soon as I told everyone what was going on, I was faced down by seven, even, uh, seven shocked faces. Look, it's not a done deal yet. There was a clause on our contract which said each of our albums had to sell at least 10,000 units or else the record deal got cancelled. Our last album just barely made the cut with 12,000 copies sold. Basically, some music just reminding us of our original deal with them. It's not like they sprung this on us unexpectedly. Yeah. But all our albums are barely selling anymore. If this trend continues, then our last album might really be the last one. Then call it the final album. You'll suddenly start producing, you, you get wildly popular and expand into a huge corporate <laughs> monolith. They said that to us now, but they're hardly even promoting us anymore. How are we supposed to sell more copies when people have moved on to other, uh, supporting other idol units now? Ah, well, we could still get lucky, you know. 90% of business success is just luck. Who knows, our next album could be a big hit. Ah, telling us to just cross our fingers and wish for the best. What an reliable producer. Look, a lot, a lot of this is relying on marketing and how, uh, uh, you know, putting ourselves out there, the presentation behind doing so, and then, you know, doing something to bring people's attentions to us so they feel like they want to, you know, support us. Yeah. Like, for example, I don't buy music unless I like it, right? I, this is like, if, if, I, if I listen to something and I'm like, this just isn't doing it for me. I don't buy it. It's as simple as that. Same goes for video games, usually, especially if I have a demo or something or whatever, or if, or if I have the ability to, to, you know, get a refund for it. It's like, if I don't like this, I return it. That's not the same. Okay, same principle, kind of, but not, this, but not the same situation. This is dealing with the, like, a, 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 a unit performing for, you know, an audience. Yeah. I don't know why my, my I'm losing. Yeah. Ugh. Well, guess time to polish up our resumes. Doesn't look like we're gonna be around here much longer. Akichan, now is the time for usual shit lolly gags. That's right, Salami. Although now we get our Nesami coming and talking about how she's gotta start looking into, do it into potential AV careers. Julie, you too. Gag, I'm being serious here. Why are you looking so shocked in the first place? This kind of thing happens all the time for an idol. If the unit fails, you move on to the next thing. What, you just gonna crumble from the humiliation and give up? Oh my no. Easy for you to say, you shit lolly, but the rest of us just don't have that kind of luxury. Oh. Uh, uh. Ugh, the ultimate despair of returning to be if, being a, a human failure. Anything but that. Oh, Mika. Ellipses. Why are you all talking like everything's already decided? Starnova's not disbanding. We've still got a long way to go before we can even say we're ready, we're ready to graduate. You say that now, but it's not like that's up to us. Yeah. The boys and everything is just in our power. But without someone's backing or the public's attention, it's not like we can do anything. Yeah, like, Don, your heart's in the right place, but you're not... It, it's more of, you know, the affirmative action you're, that you're not taking. This rate, we won't even be able to have any big lives. You could say we've been forgotten. Uh, so you could say we got lucky one time. And then we did our best to sing and dance for our fans. We didn't get in any kind of trouble. We stuck to the script and did what was expected of us. We tried to become model idols. You know what? That ain't the kind of shit that moves cash. I'm talking about the eyeballs. The eyeballs. During what stage have we drawn the people's eyeballs? We committed the worst possible crime in the entertainment biz. We were boring. Why are y'all giving up so easily? You dumbass. Oh! I mean, okay, uh, Natan just straight up insulting Aki, uh, that was a shock. Then Natan just 
basic uh, Natan! What the fuck? The girls gasped in shock when Natan suddenly shoved Aki over. Given their distance and weight, Aki tumbled flat in her back. Hey, that was uncalled for! Natan, you- Uh oh. Before I could finish, she spun around and fled from the office. I rushed over and checked to see if Aki was injured. It's alright. Just fell on my butt. Yeah, but there's not much there. Look at you. <laughs> that was uncalled for. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is... What's happening? Oh. What's happening? Asami crumbled to her knee and started crying by herself. Oh, no. Ah, uh, now you've done it. You said too much of shit, Lolly. Even so, resorting to physical violence is unforgivable. I can't believe something like this happened here. Yeah, same. We're all said things aren't going so well, but Aki could have been hurt by that. What we've done if that had happened? Oi, producer. Uh -huh. Oi, producer, there's no way you can let uh, Natan off the hook for this. Oh, it's not just because of the unit being in trouble that Natan acted that way. This is supposed to be a secret, but Natan recently found out that her family owes a lot of money. To the Yakuza. <laughs> and unless she can become an idol st uh, star idol and pay off the debt, the bank's going to take away their farm. Frank, I'm disappointed in you all. Listen, fame can and has changed people. They can't psychically know that Natan's family was going through a 90s movie, okay? <laughs> that It's not their fault that they just... As far as it would look to them, Natan would is just gradually changing, or at least it seemed like suddenly changing. But yeah, she changed, and they don't know why because they weren't told. Don't, don't attack them for it. Just explain it. Be, be, to, you know, being accusatory isn't gonna help. You know, endear them to what's going on. You all should know Natan wouldn't get so angry about becoming less popular. The whole reason she's been acting so differently is because she's worried about her family, you know? Uh, uh. The girl's gulp looked down upon hearing the truth. So, Natan was just worried about her folks all this time. <laughs> Certainly, I did think it was strange that her personality changed immediately visiting her parents. Uh, okay, yeah, you picked up on something, at least. But it really is a shitty situation, huh? The way Sarnova's popularity is going, the Tan's probably gonna probably losing hope at ever paying off that debt, which is gonna make her get more and more desperate and f further lose sight of what was having getting Sarnova on the right track to begin with. <sighs> uh, hey, producer, you knew about this all along, didn't you? Yeah, sorry, but it was a really personal situation at Tan, so I couldn't just announce it to everyone. <clears throat> that girl, she really has a lot of love for home and all, but look, you think. You can think of me as heartless if you want, but it's really not a problem that her dad's in debt. That's true. I mean, yeah. It's... It, it is what it is. That, that, that is the pragmatic take on it. It's not her fault. It's not a burden she has to shoulder, but she feels like she does, and so she's blaming herself. Not like it's her fault. I know we all want to say we look after our folks, but honestly, sending a young daughter to pay our father's debt is just unreasonable. Yeah, I think your dad told her the same thing. Not in as much words. It was uh, far more condescending than that. But uh, d he, he did say, I don't want your money. But you know how Natan is. There's no way she's just going to look away and let the bank take away their farm. I only stayed there for a night, but during that short time, I could feel that the uh, Tanabe's, uh, pfft, yeah, uh, Tanabe's lo living there. It's been their land for hundreds of years. And then to lose it now. Must be heartrending for Natan. Uh, I'm trying to be an idol for the sake of her parents. So what's that bumpkin thinking? If she keeps the attitude up, she's just going to kill herself, you know? Mm. Quite an astute observation from our drill sergeant Lily, huh? Perhaps she ought to listen to herself more often. So, what are you going to do, producer? I'm... I'm going to go after Natan. Sorry, guys, but she needs me right now. Emphasis was wrong. I should have just said that she needs me right now. Yeah, now that we know what's going on, we don't want her tearing us all apart over this either. <laughs> eh? Please go and tell Natan that we're not angry at, our, at her. After all, I'm sure Natan regrets pushing Aki-chan. 
She probably only ran away because she was so ashamed of what she did. I'd, I'd, I'd wager it was more just a bunch of conflicting emotions, all of them not good. So that may have been part of it, but it was also probably the, you know, boiling frustration uh, about her family and everything too. And now the company's, well, uh, not, now that the unit looks like it might go under. Akechan, <laughs> you were pretty harsh on your, uh, yourself. You better apologize to Natan right away when she comes back. Uh, oh, well, no one that's going to the family now. I suppose I was being a bit insensitive. I don't think so, you're gone. Come on, everyone, let's go practice. Thanks, Maria. Y yeah. Thanks, everyone. I'll, I'll head over to Natan's apartment right away and sort this out. I promise. We're gonna see that she's actually... L oh. I was gonna say, we're probably gonna see that she's all about trying to head on a train, but then again, that wouldn't... Uh, do any help would it uh, that, that, that would completely be the point I, I don't know why that was it's just a trope it's a trope and it popped in my head and for some reason that's happened earlier and my, my brain is just weird right now but that's uh, yeah, as if it's only just right now but that said though I had no idea what to say to her when I actually arrived at her apartment ah I see just like myself like to, you'd like to help your friends when they're in need but you have absolutely no fucking clue how to do it and just well for me I just I just either freeze up or struggle to put out platitudes because it's like I, I panic. I, I, I get super stressed out about, you know, wanting to be there for them to the point where it's hard for me to actually do that. Well, hard for me to do that in a way that, you know, would be effective. I tried knocking on the door and then realized she had forgotten to lock it. <laughs> Guess I could just come right in. The time, I'm coming in. I slowly walk inside and found Natan on her bed under the blanket. There you are. Ah, you really scared me running off like that. Is Pico in here to find Natan? Fire you? Why? Because you knocked over the lightest member of our group? After all, well, it was unforgivable. No! What Nemu did to Kauri in the last run was unforgivable. What you did was just a shit move. <laughs> Does my temper knock over to the member of the unit like that? This goes to show you that everything, uh, everyone is right about me. I really am just some dumb country bumpkin. That's not true. I got John's not angry at you at all. In fact, when I explained to the others what was going on, everyone was worried about you. Besides, fights break out between teammates from time to time. Like all the girls in the idol group are gonna see eye to eye all the time. What matters is the most is that you apologize and make amends. But it's already too late. At this rate, Sarno was really gonna have to disband. A record label's about to leave us, and people don't care about, about a small time idol unit like us when there's hundreds of better idol uh, 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 bleh, better idols out there. All we're doing right now is making fools out of ourselves, trying to be popular. Well, I bet everyone's laughing behind our backs how much we're failing. And after I tried to look cool, all cool, by promising my folks to Tokyo, make enough money to pay off the debt. How am I supposed to go back home and face them when things like this? That's the only thing I'm going to have a home to go back to. Natan, I sat down in the bed next to her. Sorry. I don't want to have to say this. But it's just not right for you to burden yourself with your parents' debt. Exactly what your pa said. This is their responsibility. Your parents are grown up since had to take on the debt. Adults have to face the consequences of their actions. But still, if we don't have the farm no more, then who's gonna keep the evil spirit sealed inside like our family has for generation upon generation? If it gets loose, it will destroy the world. And then it'll turn into a Maho Shoujo anime. If only, if only I'd tried harder to become more popular. Maybe if I hadn't taken it so easy after our one big hit, we wouldn't be in this situation. Maybe if I worked harder, we'd have become top idols. At the end of it all, it was all still my fault. And now Sarnova's in big trouble. Ellipses. Honestly, I have felt the same thing for years. In Labrador, I had to disband all idle regrets. All the members looked back and thought of all the things we could have done differently. Maybe if we worked harder, the worst wouldn't have happened. When I found out we were being fired, I ran to our producer and tried to reason with him. You know what that bastard said? He said I was worrying too much. I should just care about myself. I had girls who liked me was going to get a good uh, severance deal. Honestly, I couldn't accept what he said then to the point where I decided to go to, the biz go to business school and become a producer just to prove him wrong. Uh, here I 
man, telling you to do the same thing, huh? I smiled sadly. I think I can understand things from my old producer's point of view a bit more now. There's no point in beating yourself up. Unfortunately, the truth is that we don't know what makes one idol group successful and another a failure. Sure, you can say that this idol became popular because she had got a heart of gold, worked hard, and had a pretty face. But there are a thousand of the girls who are just as nice, hardworking, and pretty who are never recognized. Sometimes the idols that make it to the top are actually terrible people who manipulate others, speak nothing but lies, and use their power to bully others. But that doesn't mean acting like that guarantees success either. Some top idols are really nice, genuine people. In the end, I think it's all just dumb, stupid luck. I think that's what my producer was trying to tell me back then. Not to say that he did it in a way that was right, or that he may have actually been thinking that himself, and that he wasn't just an asshole and a drunken idiot, but I think he may have been edging on to a point. I'm not giving that fucker any credit. He can sit and spin. That there was no meaning to Labrador becoming unpopular. That there was no reason for me to blame myself for guilt. That it was just a funny little thing that I should get over and move on from. At the time, though, I felt like my world was ending. Uh, sorry to talk only about myself. I'm just trying to say whatever happens to our Nova isn't your fault. It's just the way things are. So that was what happened to Karu-chan. I always wondered. Karu-chan, even if Natan's just an idle failure, you'll still like me, won't you? If Karu-chan left me too, I really have nothing left. <sighs> you're lucky I'm not that much of a pessimist, or I'd just straight up say you're trying to manipulate the guilt trip me. But from what I've seen from Natan so far, I don't think that's what she's trying to do. At least consciously. And that's saying at least I'm giving, still giving it, uh, I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt, but you know, not completely crossing out the other option just because I'm a cynic. I f feel really full of myself asking this now and I'm just a big mess up, but I still want to be with you. I put my hand on Tan's head. Of course, you're not a mess up in my book. Besides, if we compare our idol careers, it's not like I did any better. No matter what, I'll still, I'll st I'll still take care of you, Natan. Kawachan. The time I returned to the office after she managed to regain her spirits. It took a few spirits to help along with that, you know, some of the good old. I'm trying to think of what I'd be in the mood for. Now I'll just say whiskey. The girl, no, no, rum. The girls rushed over nothing but concerned faces the moment we walked into the dance studio. Tan, uh, are you feeling better? Uh, don't worry about a thing, uh, about a thing about what happened. In fact, we're all worried about what's going on with you and your family. Considering what's happened, it's totally understandable that you'd be under a lot of stress. Even Akichan said she understands how you feel after finding out about it. Come on, Akichan, this is where you apologize. Ba have to, having to give her a verbal cue card does not make her look good. Uh, oh, yeah. She's like, can we just have forgotten about this, please? Sorry. I didn't know what was happening with your family when I said all that. I guess I was a bit insensitive. Anyways, I wasn't hurt at all. I'm not gonna keep a grudge over something so dumb. So don't act awkward around me, all right? I'm son of a shit lolly now and forever. Well, apparently not forever, according to the Amos route. Yeah, besides, the Tan vowed her head to Aki. I'm the one who's really sorry. Pushing a small guy like you over just because what ha uh, happened to be upset over my own personal problems? It's obvious I still have a long way to go as your sinner. Yeah, <laughs> small, yeah. She, she's small. I'm really sorry, all right? For a whole lot of things, not just to Aki-chan, but to everyone. This wasn't how we thought Sonov would go. We ain't popular making money or getting a lot of buzz. And in the end, it's your sin that that's my fault. The girls smiled gently at the time. Hey, what are you talking about? Now, when I first joined Star Nova, I thought the unit would be disbanded within weeks without accomplishing anything. But look at where we are now. We got one big album and a bunch of loyal fans. And we didn't get caught in, up in any stupid drama or scandals either. Not this time. <laughs> Indeed, this one has changed so much thanks to Stranova. <laughs> I feel like I finally put my Hiki, Hikikimori days uh, past behind me. 
No, you don't look like you've had it done entirely, but you're certainly making progress. Um, Mika-chan, you've been going outside ever since you decided to become an idol, you know? Well, well, but now I feel like I can go outside with confidence. It's a totally different sensation. Wait. I, I, n never mind, I'm just a... Eh, is that so? Well, I know Sama's got a point. Not like we crashed and burned. Come on, I'd say we did pretty well for ourselves, given everything. That's true. Not like we were shining young kids full of hope and promise. In the end, I guess what I've learned from working in this business is you just gotta make the most out of the situation you're given. You gotta... Play the hand you're dealt. In other words. Everyone has problems, you know. You always think people who are doing better than you have everything made and you're just lagging behind them because you have some special issue holding you back. But you know the truth? That other person in front of you has their issues too. And sometimes the person uh, who's holding you back is you. Actually, wait. Well, okay. Yeah, but... Or, 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 yeah, or something could be holding you back and it's not a special problem. It's just you holding you back. There, that, that, that's more, that's more good. Maybe. But the person in front of you has your issues too. And they have people in front of them who think, who think about the same, uh, who think that they think the same thing about. Blah, 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 blah. Can't read, can't speak, brain no good. Ugh. Uh, the wise sentiment from our drill sergeant Lolly. Surely he's on a roll today. I'm just showing the grains of wisdom I've, I've gained from my time in this business, that's all. Seriously, you guys better be grateful. After all this is finished, I'm going to open my own shit lolly consulting firm and charge a million yen per advice, you know. Okay, okay, understood. Nemo stepped in front of the others with a serious look on her face. Okay, no knife, good. Nathan? Nemo Nemo? No, no, j just Nemo. Don't indulge her. Listen to me carefully, because Nemo Nemo is really serious about this. After hearing about your problem, I couldn't take my take it off my mind. If one of my teammates is having trouble, there's no way I can just pretend not uh, I can just pretend to not to not exist. Natan, I have some money of my own that I can give you to help your folks pay off the debt. Although it won't be enough to clear the debt in full, it should at least get the bank off your parents' back for a long while. For a daughter of a rich family like me, it really isn't a problem all, uh, at all to give you that money. Please take it and rest easy. I was expecting that, yes, but I. I honestly have no idea if Natan's gonna accept it. He's like, in the, as desperate as she is, I could understand her going against what she might usually say, and accepting, even if reluctantly. But I still feel like she's probably gonna say no. Yeah, sorry, Nemo Nemo. I really appreciate the offer and all. Yeah, but I can't just take your money away like this. I don't reckon I've done anything way to deserve it. And besides, all my pa would disown me if I ever did something like that. Given his pride, I'd rather burn the farm down himself rather than take a hand out from someone else. I'm really sorry. Oh, at least let me talk to my father. He still has connections to throughout the real estate business. I'm sure he could... Sorry, the Tanabe is a simple folk. We couldn't possibly ask this of you or your family. Just your feelings are enough. I'll remember Nemanimo's generosity for the rest of my life. But there's no way... And the Don, you gotta think about this. At least, couldn't you appeal to the fans? You can go public with the troubles your farm's facing and get the public sympathy. Maybe this story will even generate buzz and help our next album sell. The Don bowed down, her tears forming puddles on the floor of the dance studio. Sorry. But I wanted to go back home with my head held high. We love our farm, but we ain't sneaking to go begging for handouts either. <sighs> Even though idols do that kind of thing all the time. It's always buy my album to vote for me in the popularity contest or buy this handshake event ticket or else I might be fired from the unit. Honestly, asking the fans for help because your parents' farm could be foreclosed to the bank would be one of the nobler calls to action in this business. Maria and Aki-chan's got a point. In fact, going public with your mission to save your parents' farm could be what Sarnova needs to regain its popularity. Nothing to be ashamed of. Aren't people supposed to come together and help each other in times like this? Regardless of whether you live in the city or the countryside, that's all, that'll always be the case. You said it yourself. You gotta stick together with your folks. Everyone here is your family too. Everyone... <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
The final desperate mission to save our center's farm from some no uh, from some no name mild unit filled with various rejects and burn burnouts. Sounds like the kind of start story which will get some traction. Maybe even a sequel. Come on, everyone, let's do this for Natan's sake. Natan's always been the one cheering us on. Now it's our turn. Ellipses. I don't know what to say to y'all, but thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank goodness I was a member of Star Nova. I met all you folks. I couldn't have asked for better teammates. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> of course we're gonna do it. I smiled as the girls all came together to back Natana. Uh, not, not, uh, not ski up. Honestly, it was still going to be challenging given our sales numbers. Obviously, paying off the entire debt just from our next album was going to be impossible. Our chart smashing hit last only, net, only netted a time enough money to pay 10% of the debt, and we haven't been able to release a single hit ever since then. But we still have to try. This wasn't just about Sarnova. Uh, Sarnova. Natsuki's home was in the line here. All, all right. I was going to do my best too. Well, now we've that fighting spirit built up. Okay. Well. Hey, at least not 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 on the depressing music anymore. I think I'll call the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.